Okay, so I've just finished back tracing all the letter A's. So here's the right way round where we started to trace off the sheet. Just to recap, so we trace off the sheet. I have then just turned the sheet over just to protect the table and turn the tracing paper over. That's right, so that's right way round, that's the wrong way round. And then I went on the back of each letter. Okay, now for the next bit. So here's my sketchbook. You can use whatever paper you've got. Use printer paper, paper that's lying around, or you can treat yourself to a new sketchbook. And what we're going to do is I am going to take my letter A sheet. So it's the right way around now. Here's my letter A. Um, my favourite one, actually. And I'm going to start with that. I'm going to place it on the sketchbook. And it doesn't have to be straight. It doesn't have to be straight on like that. I can just twist it so, so that it's slightly like that. And then I'm going to use, this time, I'm going to use a by roll. And the reason for that, or a pen, the reason for using a, a pen is that we can press on really hard now and transfer the graphite, which is on this side, onto the paper. Okay, so here we go. Don't press on, I'm going to say don't press on too hard because you will have actually ripped the paper, but you do need to put a firm amount of pressure on. You'll know it. When you do it, you'll understand. So just drawing all the way around to get to there we go to the end of the other curve. So a quick sneaky peek. Oh, it's all done. There you go. So that letter is transferred into my sketchbook. Okay, next bit. I'm going to take another letter and I'm going to think about where I'm going to place it. So this this capital letter here. here this sort of stencil shape. I'm going to use that and I'm going to sit that in that space there. And I'm going to do exactly the same. Notice how I've not put it on straight. I've got it on a slight angle. I just sort of looked how it fits quite nicely in this space. And it's going to go around the outside of the letter. Again, just have a quick check that it's doing it. It is doing it all the way around. Firm pressure, scribbly, sort of scribbly motion, just to make sure you catch every single bit. There we go. Now then, let's take one of these smaller letter shapes and let's think how that would work in my design. So I might want that sort of poking behind this big letter A here. So what I could do is lie that over, but I'm not going to do the whole A. I'm just going to do the bit down here. So it makes it look like it's going behind that big letter A. I'll show you when I've done it. Just up to that edge. And then I can take that away. And can you see how oh, it looks like it's partially hidden behind the big A? I'm going to carry on doing that, creating my jumble of letters. Don't be afraid of doing them upside down. That fits really nicely, what we can see. That fits really nicely in that space there. So I'm going to pop that in that one. And I'm going to draw round again. So again, scribbly motion, nice, nice even pressure. And you can keep going until you fill the page if you really want to. Or you can do a slightly smaller piece. It's up to you. Don't think if you do a smaller piece, it's less work. Never works like that in art. And the sneaky peek. Yeah, it's nearly there. There we go. Done it? Yeah, done it. Then let's use one, two, three. Four. Let's just do one more and I'll do the small capital A. This time I'm going to make that look like it's set behind again. So it's sort of flicking off the edge of this one. There. Okay, I'll show you when I've done it. Done. Okay, let me turn it around so you can see it. Okay, 
Okay, so that's my design. It's got one, two, three, four. It's got five different leather shapes. I just feel like I just want to continue. I want to get something in here, maybe another one in here, just to sort of finish it off. So I'll show you that when I've done.